The internet is one of the best places to kill your time, whether it's playing games on your browser or anything else. It offers a treasure trove of websites that can help you kill time when you want to. There are many amazingly useful sites that you might not know about that could soon become one of your favorites. These sites exist to save time and money, to help us search more effectively, to drill down into reference materials, and so much more. So in this video, we're going to tell you the top best websites you didn't know about. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Patatap A lot of times when you're bored, you just want to do stuff that's pretty much useless, but still a lot of fun. If that sounds like something you're interested in, Patatap fits the bill perfectly. This website does one thing, plays sounds and animations based on the keys you're pressing on your computer's keyboard. So, you can start typing out random lines on your keyboard and Patatap will reward you with an explosion of fun sounds and animations. It sounds a little ridiculous, but it's very addictive, especially if you enjoy typing. Number 9. TuneFind TuneFind has become an online place for accurate, comprehensive information on what fans hear on their private shows and movies. Now, with more than 2.2 million unique visitors monthly, the site has become a spot for fans of 780-plus shows and another 780-plus films. Music supervisors who want to spread the word about emerging artists and new tracks they've discovered are also utilizing it. From the beginning, we decided to build a comprehensive site about music on TV, says Garlinghouse, who, with his team of friends and active contributors, came up with a system that helps users vet and boost accurate information. Number 8. The Office Steer Machine When mankind gets to a point where it'll need a catalog of human emotions, the US version of The Office will do a great job of covering most of them. It's all delivered by the characters of the US iteration of the comedy TV series, who will happily break the fourth wall to do their thing. While the website will immediately suggest simple sentiments such as happy or sad, it has a very broad taxonomy, there are 800 of them, of emotions that you can request. Number 7. WikiHow WikiHow was an Herrick's only attempt at creating a vast archive of free how-to guides. Between 2004 and 2006, Herrick served as owner and co-CEO of eHow, which was publishing how-to articles written by paid contributors. But this model would not be sustainable if Herrick has to achieve his vision to serve every single person on the planet and cover every topic. WikiHow also promises the right to fork, which means that, should the project derail at some point, anyone can step in and take over. This acts as a safeguard to WikiHow's mission. As time has gone on, it's become clear that the open source model is crucial and the right to fork is necessary, said Herrick. Number 5. Tickled Tickled was founded in 2012 by two young entrepreneurs, Kyle Trattner and James Engelsman. Tickle has more than 60 million monthly visitors across mobile and desktop and a dedicated community of daily active users. The company is based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. On Tickle's acquisition, Tickle president Kyle Tratner said, The entire Tickle team is incredibly excited to join the Gateway Media family. Gateway shares our distinct vision for strengthening the Tickle community. This acquisition will allow us to supercharge the pace of improvement to the services we offer to our dedicated user base. Number 4. Newsic. Newsic is a somewhat unique service, using database aggregation and form of learning AI created by the founder, Newsic attempts to find new musical bands, artists, or styles you may like based on your input. Based on your entries, Newsic then suggests a series of artists or groups and asks you if you like it, don't like it, or don't know. Based on your successive answers, the service builds a profile of what you do and do not like, attempting to more and more accurately pin down what it should feed you with the next suggestion. Number 3. Fake Person Generator Fake Person Generator offers advanced identity credentials. Although it does not have any login or bulk creation features, some of these features include driver license information, passport, security, and personal likes and dislikes that make up your bio data. Your favorite or rather your new avatar's favorite color, song, hobby, etc. are all information that it stores. Furthermore, the fake person generator includes advanced options to set a picture for the identity you generate. Most people set stock pictures for safety reasons. 
but rest assured, this is a safe space for all identities. So overall, the fake identity generator is ideal for generating extensive details of yourself. This is advantageous for you to work on those apps and sites that demand extra information. Number 1. Taste Dive Taste Dive is a platform for finding new entertainment based on your tastes. It's similar to how Netflix, Spotify, or Pandora makes recommendations based on your likes. The difference, however, is that Taste Dive can recommend more than just movies or music. The Taste Dive website has a user-friendly and easy-to-understand interface. Users are greeted with a search bar as well as seven broad categories – music, movies, TV shows, books, authors, video games, podcasts. After clicking one of these categories, users can search for items within them. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.